David Thorson, a seafaring adventurer from Okoboji, has traveled the globe. He spent time battling natural elements beyond imagination, and he's seen spectacular environments. And through the lens of his camera, he's captured it all. It was a love of adventure that led David Thorson to a career in photography. I was all set in college to go on into medicine. And when I graduated from college, a friend wanted to go on a bicycle trip, long bicycle trip, which I had never done before. And we took off and went down to New Zealand and rode, uh, I think, about 1,300 miles. And it was during that time I was taking lots of pictures, and I came back bound and determined to be, be a photographer. David Thorson grew up in Algona, Iowa, spending his summers playing along the Des Moines River and learning to sail from his mother and grandfather on Lake Okoboji. Those skills led him to adventures that have quite literally taken him to the ends of the world. And once you learn the, the basics of small boat sailing, you can really take that anywhere else in the world. And sailing has been the vehicle that has taken me to all the different places in the world for the last 20 years that have uh, really shaped my life. In 1992, Thorson, with five others, sailed below the Antarctic Circle. Accomplished by only a handful of sailors, it was an adventure that was filled with peril. Thursday, January 23rd. I've never felt fear like I've felt fear in the past 48 hours. These huge ice kingdoms can be your friends on calm days, shimmering like a city of angels, or chill you to the bone with the face of the devil in a storm. This is now survival sailing, and death has crossed my mind a few times. Two years later, David found himself at the other end of the world, above the Arctic Circle, in an attempt to sail above North America in what is known as the Northwest Passage. The attempt was aborted when ice prevented further progress and threatened to crush the boat. But in 2007, when Thorson made another attempt at the Northwest Passage, he found nearly an ice-free environment. According to David, it was proof of negative human impact on the natural environment. This is what I have waited 13 years for, an opportunity to make it through the Northwest Passage. But this is a moment of truth. It seems to prove without a doubt that climate change is happening and possibly at an accelerated pace. The Northwest Passage is ice-free and we're witnessing history planetary history. It was David's skills in photography, along with his knowledge of the Northwest Passage, that helped him secure a position on a never-before-attempted trip that would circumnavigate the American continents from north to south. Beginning and ending in Seattle, Washington, it was much more than an ambitious adventure. The crew would collect scientific data while working to increase awareness of environmental issues that are impacting the world's oceans. And the whole idea was to demonstrate the interconnectedness between the land and the sea, and vice versa, and how we really are just one big island surrounded by one big ocean. Dubbed Around the Americas, the trip began in 2009 and took one year to complete with 28,000 miles sailed and stops in 53 different ports. Over the course of the trip, David took more than 77,000 photographs and shot over 100 hours of video, documenting the voyage and telling the story of the connection between land and sea. As we get more and more people on this planet, you know, seven billion people and counting, the wild spaces, these wild places are just getting squeezed. It's just really good to know that they're still there. Of the 77,000 pictures Thorson shot, 350 were selected to tell the story of the expedition in a book, One Island, One Ocean. His pictures give a glimpse of the beauty and harshness of a world that only a few have experienced, and they are a call to action to save the fragile environment. We wanted a book that you could really pick up and um, open up at any point and sort of get the story. And I think this book accomplishes that, but I think the pictures really tell the story of the voyage, even if you uh, don't read the book. Since returning from the voyage, Thorson has been dedicated to two missions. The first is a traveling exhibit that uses his pictures and shares his thoughts regarding environmental change. 
there's a lot of new frontiers out there, but um, I'm kind of really honed in on one these days, and, and that's really what's going on up in the Arctic right now with, with climate change in a fast-changing Arctic. So our whole voyage that we did around the Americas, this 28,000-mile voyage... Was David is also using his worldly adventures to inspire young people with a message that anything is possible and that a dream will remain a dream until you dare to chase it. Someone uh, recently coined me the accidental explorer, and I think that's exactly kind of what's happened. I, I didn't really intend to be. I just kind of started on what I thought was a small adventure, and they just kept getting bigger. 